In this devotion, I'd like to speak to you on a subject that we don't speak about enough. Now, whether we're pastors, whether we're lay people, whether we're Sunday school teachers, whether we're husbands, whether we're wives, whether we're children, I want to speak to you today on the subject of encouragement. Uh, I was sitting here at this desk just a little while ago and uh, the phone rang and it was a man that lives in the subdivision we live in in Simpsonville. And he was saying, I wanted to call you because I haven't seen you and I haven't seen your devotions for a couple of days. And I just wanted to be sure you're okay, you and your wife. That's a real encouraging thing. Somebody cares enough that in your absence or in your silence that they would be concerned about you. Encouragers, people that truly care about other people. Just a short time after that, I had a phone call from our next door neighbor uh, who said, there's water running out from underneath your garage door. Is there anything I can do? I know you're in North Carolina. And I gave her the code to our garage door. and She was able to go in through the door and find a very simple problem and take care of that for us. And shut off the water so that it wouldn't continue to leak out. Encouragement. Encouragement. She cared enough to say, this isn't my garage, this isn't my house, this is my neighbor's place, but I know they're not here and I know it's going to cost them a lot of money if the water continues to run and I do know how to get a hold of them and I'm going to get a hold of them and let them know. Or perhaps the friends that came to visit with us today who knew that Lois had gone through a long, hard time and was concerned about her recovery and came up just to spend the day chatting with her and encourage her. Encouragement. It's important, isn't it? But that's not the only place that it ended. Uh, we uh, had to take our cat to a specialized veterinarian uh, center to have her treated with a very unusual treatment. Uh, but that veterinarian has made it a point to call at every stage of her treatment and say she's doing fine. Uh, she sat up, she ate food, she, she's doing fine. Encouragement. You see in the scriptures in Hebrews chapter 10, verse 24, it says, and let us consider how to stimulate one another to love and good deeds. Now, you throw a pebble into a pond and there's a ripple at the very center where the pebble hits, but then it ripples out. Let me encourage you to do some encouragement from a rippling standpoint. Let me recommend that you encourage your mate. Let me encourage you to encourage your children. Uh, let me suggest that you encourage fellow church members, Sunday school teacher that you have, preacher that you have, deacon that's assigned to your family. Let me encourage you to think about your co-workers. Ripple out into the community. Consider the ways that you can stimulate one another to love and good deeds. That's my thought for the day. I hope it's going to be your thought for today and for the coming weeks that you'll consider the ways that you can stimulate others through encouragement to love and good deeds. God bless you and have a great day.